wear glasses too? Yes. All right, so we're both going to look cool on our way to Gapstead, which is three hours away from here. We're going to take out the most boring road in Melbourne, which is the Hume. He's boring. But when we're up there, uh, the high country is quite pretty. So hopefully you enjoy this. Um, the last video you would have seen is us gallivanting around Banya's place. There's still more videos from Phnom Penh to come, but we thought we'd take you on a little journey with us. So join us. And if you want to become a member of this club what? here, <laughs> stay tuned, I'll tell you more about it. Cheers, Troy, legend. Right, why this is the most boring road in Victoria is A, there's nothing around to look at, um, but B, it's heavily uh, speed camera, so in the middle of the road here, you're going to find speed cameras every couple of kilometres, and a speed limit's only 110. The problem with that is that everyone's 110 is slightly different, right? So we're coming up to this convoy up here, and I'm doing my 110, and I reckon there's probably about six different speeds over there, and I'm not allowed to overtake like a normal person, or if you're in Europe or in the States where you just go, rah, and go around them. Otherwise, it's just some bloke's house. Hang on. All right, this is the one. Oh, and Brian's here. Brian. Oh, Brian. <laughs> Let's get out. Finally found our spot. Let's come inside. Brian's taking out the fruit with uh, Louisa. That's an Aldi bag. Plenty of carrots, which is good because we can go feed them to horses. That's some spray. Well done, mate. Here's the door. Let's go inside. Isn't this nice? Look at this. We've got ourselves a wood fire, bricks from South Yarra, some wood, a couple of couches, a television, and a very out of tune guitar. Very, very nice kitchen. What do you think of the kitchen? Doesn't matter because too busy trying to sell plants. Sell plants. Make the business happen. Business. But this is a nice, the bananas already make it feel very homely, Brian. Very, very good. <laughs> um, oven, dishwasher, lots of wood. I like the wood. It's fantastic. Fridge, all the amenities. This looks like a nice, cool um, rain shield, doesn't it? Look at that. That's excellent. Here's a quick look at the rest of the uh, abode. We've got two beds in here, which would be pushed together to make one big one. And we've got uh, one big one in here, which can't be separated into two smaller ones. So just so you know, bathroom's pretty cool too, guys. Just chuck the light on. Yeah, very, very nice. Nice bit of wood there if you want to sit and sink piss or do whatever you want to do there whilst having a bath. It's a nice mirror. So you can see exactly. And I need a bit of a shade. Nice vine, some plants, lots of wood, plenty of wood. I like the wood. Concrete floors, I'm, I approve. Easy to keep clean. We've only been here 10 minutes, but the best thing that we've found so far is this thing here. This is, Brian, you know much a bit about these things. This is a Norfolk by HMV Classico L thingamajigo. Oh, there's a bubble. Oh, we'll take that plant away, because I think you can lift this thing up. Oh, there's records in there. Brian, there's LPs. Is that good by Yellow Brick Road by Helton John? <laughs> we could listen to Benny and the Jets. <laughs> Fantastic. We're going to give this a crack. Definitely. Oh, yes. Lovely. Oh, there's rumours. Do you I mind? there's brother in arms. Oh, the, yeah. Alice Cooper. What else have we got here? Led Zeppelin. Led Zeppelin? Oh, oh, yes! Oh, 
<laughs> oh, Sabbath, thank you very much. Continue, Brian. What else have we got? Uh, these are the guys that did that track, uh, Raise Some Cane. Raise Some Cane. Some blokes with some trumpets. Pi Records, 10 years of golden hints. It's a bit of a, that's your, your mixtape, Brian. It looks like a mixtape. Look at that. You got Susie Q here, Susie Quattro. Yeah. Highway to hell. I'll send that to forensics, as they say. <laughs> To forensics, yeah, that one there can just. Now, is this the white album or the brown album? Oh, it's just a bit faded, Brian. It's a bit faded. There's a few Beatles here, actually. We've got some Beatles ones at home. Look at that. Oh, we've got Kick as well. Oh, classic. Classic Australian in excess Kick, Brian. Really? This is absolutely fantastic. And I don't know if this is a retro thing because it's got AUX on it. <laughs> so it could be. But, uh,. Look at that fire up. You've got your New South Wales Tassie and Vic frequencies there. Got a tuning. We've got some bass and treble. It's the Norfolk version. So we might fire this up later and play some band music on here. Rug, flowers, books, essentials, plants. Selling plants. Selling plants. If you like plants and are in Australia, specifically Melbourne, go to My Green Spaces on Instagram and buy some of the plants and get them out of my house. <laughs> buy them, buy them, buy them, get them out of my house. Then I can restock them. Brian, just uh, making sure the essentials are kept cool. We've got an array of Bex. Now, Brian, you like a good beer when it's the right price. Correct. <laughs> if it's on special. Check the expiry. <laughs> It's imported, Brian. It's imported, but yeah. what's the expiry on it? It's irrelevant. Let me see. It's about two months ago. It's all right. It'll still be good. Did you get it from Sarakos? No, nah, that doesn't. Um, oh, Greensboro. Yep. Yeah. Look at that. Do you know what we didn't do, actually? Let's go get ourselves some disappointing beers from, like, those uh, made-up countries. Yep. Like, Vagen Das and... Schwutzken and, and Beaver. Yeah. Mm. Now we've found some friends over here. Let's go say hello. Can we say hello. Yep. Come on. Meh. Walnut. Where's oh walnut tree? Look, this really nice grounds here, isn't it? Oh, look, it's got that lemon or lime tree. Yeah, we've got lemon and lime. If there's rosemary out the front. Yeah. Meh. Meh. Yeah, there's some nice hills behind us back there. We're in a bit of a valley here. Valley it's very very nice. Um, it is dry like anything. It is January. I'm only going to get this up in the next week or so, so it will be current, unlike the last time we went away. Oh, they're coming. Maybe if we don't look. If we don't look, they'll they'll stroll up on us. No, but now they're not looking. No, no they're looking. Check out the Cambodian. Straight to the fruit trees. What fruit can I pick and eat right now? No, I'm just wondering if it's lemon or lime. Huh? It's lemon or lime. Doesn't matter, Grochema is the same thing, isn't it? Grochema. Grochema. <laughs> Check out the old Australian water tower here, guys. <laughs> Tractor tyres. Yeah, great. Water tower. Grapes. Very cool, isn't it? Is it grapes? I can't see. You go get grapes. You shot the grapes. No one you cares about grapes. They can Google it. Do you want to see grapes? Come on, let's see some grapes. I would be da, grapes. Look. Grapes. Grapes. You see? Oh. Yeah. So you've got this outdoor shack sort of thing. Looks like there's the old outhouse. And this is where they've got their barbecue or bar barbecue. Couple of drums. It's your prep area. Couple of things. What the hell? Someone's bought that from overseas or brought that from overseas. From That's off a tap. No one drinks Foster's here in Australia. Don't listen to what people tell you. Yeah, barbecue area, fire extinguisher, some wood. Yeah, very pleasant place. How do we know about this place? Because someone in my tour, yep. I met them back when, probably seven, eight years ago. Yep. And their family on this place. There you go. We're still paying, we're not getting for nothing. For a discount. Don't tell these guys. Oh, no, not this can. Not this can. But yeah, through being a tour guide, can I meet many people? And yeah, meet these guys and Christina and Roberto. How are you going? 
We're up in uh, sunny Queensland now. You could be you could be having this if you were back in Melbourne, guys. I mean, look at it. Unbelievable. So thanks for allowing us to to come up here, guys. Anyway, let's keep unpacking and work out what the hell we've got to do next. Well, we've had about uh, 25 mil of rain today, and still counting. And Melbourne copped about 50 where we were, so it's been pretty slow here, which is fine to be honest because uh, had a bit had a bit to drink last night, <laughs> so it's been good to have a slow day. Uh, Brian's gonna indulge in some fried. What is this? Fried rice. Egg fried rice. Egg fried rice. I'm just making omelette. I'm making like fried eggs to put on top of the rice. Show me the rice. It's good. Did you uh, make this sort of fried rice on your kitchen channel? Um, similarly. Similar. Yeah. Yeah. That's my kitchen channel was fried rice with corn. This one just ate fried rice because that's all I've got around here. That's right. Check it out. Now it's Kitchen's, uh, what was it? Prawn fried rice. And uh, I've got some dough resting here for this evening. We're gonna make ourselves some pizzas in the oven down here. Oh, that is just looking beautiful. Oh, persevere. That's not too bad. My crust is all right. Maybe could have been a little bit longer, but I'm happy with that. After two days of raining, we've come to Beechworth. It's an old goldfields town, isn't it, Brian? It is. Yep. There's lots of old buildings like this one in front of us, which have been converted to do other things. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we're gonna have a walk around and I'll show you a bit about this uh, country town. And oh yeah, notice the t-shirt. <laughs> you want one of those too? Oh yeah. Pretty good. So Beechworth was what, like a country mining town. There was, gold was found here back in the 1800s or something like that. And uh, people from all over the country and all over the world came to Victoria to mine gold around here. And what's known as the gold fields, which is like what, here, Ballarat, Bendigo, that sort of area and the remnants of it is a town like this and you've got all these lovely buildings, businesses and signs that's sort of a throwback to the goldfield era. Is this what you call a ye olde town? Do you like all these old signs? Old style signs? I don't know, do you like them? Well, did you ask me a question? Or yeah, you asked the YouTube people? I did, I asked you a question. Do you like yes. these old signs? You do? Yeah, it's, it looks, it feels like we're somewhere else. Yeah. Like on holiday. Well, we kind of are. We are, but I know it's still in the same country, but here it feels different. Yeah. The old bank, the old bank uh, building. There's that Falcon wagon. What a beautiful machine. It's probably got 380 million kilometers on it. Ninth transmission. Right, we're in. Let's go have a look at this bank vault. It's the original gold vault, circa 1861. Oh shit. That was a horse in here. So four million ounces of gold was discovered over the gold rush within Beechworth and a lot of it would have been stored in here. Needs overhaul. <laughs> I wonder if that was the original padlock. Maybe not. <laughs> and this is the Beechworth Bakery, which is a few of them around here. Uh, Victoria anyway. Right. Chinese restaurant. There probably would have been a few Chinese restaurants up here because there's a lot of Chinese miners that came across back in the day. You want to suck the, uh, suck the Chinese meal? Oh, we could go for a succulent Chinese meal. Succulent Chinese meal <laughs> <laughs> the ardent alpaca. Sounds like somewhere in the back, like, like the country Victoria. Mm. Like more like in a other spring sort of mm. area. How decadent. It feels really peaceful here. It feels 
You don't feel the stress that you have in the city? Yeah. It's very different, isn't it? Yeah. Mind you, it's, it'll, it's going to change a lot, I When think. all the, the people from the city move here. Yes. Typical. Yeah, so once all the city folk... Ruin. ...start working remotely from these country towns, it's all over Red Rover. Still, it's a nice place to visit. And it's a Saturday and it's not that busy, to be honest. And uh, unlike vlogging in uh, Asia or elsewhere, people give you a look-see with a camera, especially the oldies, they don't like it. Oh, didn't you see before? I, I, I pretend I didn't see them at the Chinese restaurant. Oh, yeah. The two people, the couple, they're like, the hand and everything. I'm yeah. like, man, they, in public. They weren't happy. Well, that's what you get for sitting in a window. <laughs> you know what to be seen? Don't sit in a window. Don't get out of your house. Yeah, don't get in here. Stay home. Oh, I thought it was grocery, but it's surgery. <laughs> that's good. Your reading is as good as my talking. <laughs> Have a look at the old uh, RACV service centre here. We've got a very rare VS Bellina wagon that's seen better days. A lovely VS Series 2. You can tell it's a Series 2 because it's the uh, round indicator or the oval indicator rather than the square one or the Series 1 which is over there. It's a VX Club Sport body kit grafted onto a VS. It looks terrible but was very popular back in the day. But check this old uh, Chevy tow truck out. It's pretty cool, isn't it? The old Royal Auto Club Victoria badge. It's got a thermo fan on it. He's probably cooked it before. It's the old, uh, it's at a H something or other, an E something or other. Holden, I don't know my old Holden that well. I think that's an FB or an FJ Holden wagon. I oh, know that's an F100. That'd be running a Windsor or a Cleveland in it. Yeah, that's pretty cool. A few of the old mining models in here and Qantas stuff. Have a look at that! Slim Jim Racing. G'day Slim. <laughs> Didn't know you were a race team owner. Oh, there's our one. Brian's racing team. <laughs> How good's that? Oh, what have we stumbled upon here? This is the Beechworth Asylum. So a lot of these old towns had these mental health facilities. Um, the populations were quite big and much bigger than they are now. So you did have quite a lot of stuff uh, to deal with mental health and asylums. There's one in Ararat, there's one here, and there's a couple of other ones scattered around country Victoria. But have a look at the old buildings and the, the creepy type stuff. It's pretty cool, isn't it? Let's go see what that uh, commotion was about. It was perfect, man. That was, that was, that was championship level. <laughs> <laughs> so explain the screen. So you were saying that the sometimes you get your hair played with or yeah. feel like that. What just happened? No. Yeah. I'll start playing with her hair. <laughs> <laughs> I heard it clear as yeah. day all the way back there. Yeah, I've got to go to the doctor's later to get the eardrum fixed. <laughs> <laughs> That was perfect. Absolutely perfect. Yeah, never, never let an opportunity uh, pass by like that. Never let an opportunity go. <laughs> Check out this press, Brian. It's an impressive press. You impressed? I am impressed. Excellent pun. This was the theatre, the guy was saying. And uh, they used to bring patients in here for a screening of the whatever show. 
and they've got some real old original projectors behind me up here from like the 60s or whatnot. This place was open from 19, uh, sorry, 1864 to 1995. The asylum was open, it's pretty nuts. Beautiful courtyard here, or area. So our man at the back there was saying this building hasn't been used for a long time and it's original as it was back in the old and olden days. Hasn't been restored. It's just been used for storage since the uh, the 60s or 70s, but inside is apparently as it was 100 plus years ago with the old, the old original wooden floors and steel cells and whatnot. So it'd be pretty cool to check that out. They do um, tours here, day tours and night tours, and apparently the night ones are pretty full on. So it'd be interesting to check out. But he's booked because they're quite popular. Cows. Oh, That's a friggin' sheep. I don't know. That's my cow. So we're uh, just making our way around the back of the property because this property was supposed to back onto the Ovens River. Well, back onto a little bit of the Ovens River. Turns out that hasn't happened for a long time uh, due to some flooding. So we're just cruising through this uh, walnut farm. Hello. Moo. He's got numbers. Yeah, they're tagged, so they know where they are. Oh. Yeah. So what they? They might be dairy cows, or they might be slaughtered for our for our dinner. And the audience, what's this farm is? I did. Oh, did you? Walnuts. I said in the last clip. Okay. Not paying attention. Too busy Instagram. Business. Business. Is that the gate to the river? It is. Well, let's uh, park the vehicle. I'm never washing the car before we do a road trip ever again. Fair dinkum. Filthy. Disgusting. Look at all the cow shit in my, in my continentals. Welcome to my property. Yeah, yeah. All right. Here we are. Bush. Australian bush. This is the bush, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, look at the ball. Oh. Huh? It's ooh, sharp. Yeah, watch out. You know when you walk in the bush? Yeah. So Is that what before it's... you get there. Because if the snake they know you coming, they go. You know? Show us again. Bush lady. Yep. Look at this. Looks alright. Bloody marvellous, ladies and gentlemen. This is the Ovens River. Have a look at that. Spectacular Australian bush. Good timing too. Sun going down. How good is that? So I might end this vlog here guys. I hope you've enjoyed our little weekend away in the Victorian high country. Albeit two days have basically ra rained out and we had to uh, make up time for it today. If you are interested to uh, join the Cambodian Gold Camry Club, drop us an email at the email address linked in the description. Um, or up on the screen now. I want to gauge who would be interested in buying a t-shirt or a hat. Um, and on a serious note, what, what, what I've been wanting to do is to try and have some merchandise where any money we make, we can send back home to Cambodia to help the likes of Canals family and people who need it at the moment. Oh gosh, that makes me nervous. Those shoes on those rocks. I've still got to work out prices. I'll put the prices up here. There'll be a very, very extreme limited run. I don't know how much or who would be interested, um, but I'll make it a limited run. And if we need to do more, because a lot of people are interested, I'll do more. And a big um, 
massive uh, shout out to Troy who helped organise this, who actually came up with the idea of the Cambodian Gold Camry Car, Cl Car Club. Troy's a subscriber uh, from Victoria and he's got a Khmer wife as well and, and they're separated at the moment due to the COVID. COVID. So uh, big shout out mate, thanks heaps, absolutely love them, I think they're awesome. But until then guys, hope you've enjoyed Country Victoria and um, I think next time you'll you'll see us in our series in Cambodia, we will be in Phnom Penh. So we've got a few videos from Phnom Penh and then we head back out to Kandal where we started that trip from at Canal Sisters House. Uh, we do a couple of things out in the village. I'll take you through a tour of that massive house as well. Um, and then after that, I've got some ideas to continue our channel once our travel video is finished. But there's still plenty of those to come, so make sure you, you stick around. Anyway, chicka chow. Chicka chow. Good job. Here we go.